will know your calendar is not wrong. It is, in fact, Wednesday. But we do have a midweek treat on tap. It's Dick and Dave and a drink. Now, Dick is the Mr. Richard Burroughs of the Brooklyn Reader. Welcome, sir. And Dave Cologne, the cause and cure of your fear of missing out. Let's go, Mets. let's go Mets, huh? Yeah, let's go Mets. Let's go, let's Mets. go Mets. Where are you let's watching? Wait, hold on, I gotta read. Along with their <laughs> head scratching, toe tapping roster of weekend must do's, which I'm really looking forward to, let us add to the mix Tori Bell Edwards. Look at Tori, he's cool. He's the bartender at Honey's Bar in Bushwick, where you can sample cocktails of the small batch honey based wine of the old country mead. Welcome, Tori. Thank you very much for being here, man. Hey, how's it going? It's going great. What goes on down at Honey's Bar? So the cool thing is we are the only meadery in New York City. We make uh, wine from honey. It is just wine made from honey. It's made the exact same way you would make natural wine with like wild yeast, stuff like that. Um, we ferment it so, until it's dry. So it's not super sweet like you would expect. It's not some Game of Thrones, Renaissance Fair stuff. <laughs> it's delicious. It's, uh, I'll just have you taste it. Looking right. forward to it. Right. Thank you very much for being here, Tori. I'm looking forward to Dick and Dave's weekend picks, obviously, of course. Yeah. Dave, I am going, now I'm a man about town. <laughs> not really. <laughs> I'm going to Brooklyn Bowl tonight to see Built to Spill. Where are you watching the Mets tonight? Uh, I am going to be at, uh, was it Sidewa uh, oh, I forgot the name of the bar all of a sudden. It's on the Lower East Side, it's a Mets bar. Um, and uh, the name uh, briefly escapes me, well, but I'm meeting a friend uh, from out of town. They should be. Right. You can also go to Half Court if you want to stay in Brooklyn. Half Court and Crown Heights, uh, Prospect Heights. I don't know which one it is. Uh, one people always argue Heights. about it. One 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 Heights. Heights. On Washington Avenue, Park Place, great bar. Always go, there we to, go. Uh, to Half Court. Here's to the Mets, huh? Hell yeah. Let's go so, wait, so, so doesn't really uh, meat usually come served like, from a bar winch? Um, I mean, you know, we we will take whatever role you want us to do. I will wear a dress if you need me to. But uh, I, I'd like to think that uh, mead kind of precedes all of that. Like, it's one of the oldest drinks. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because any civilization that's ever had honey is going to make booze out of it, mm -hmm. right? Like, you, you, make, you make alcohol out of what you have available. Mm -hmm. Any civilization that has honey, that's any good. civilization that has yes. bees, you're going to have honey wine. Honey's right. bar in yeah. Bushwick. Right. Tori, honey's thank you so much, man. Yeah, absolutely. Here's mm. to the Mets. All right, guys, let's get into your weekend picks. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to learn from this. I'm going to go to school on these weekend picks because I want to know what to do this weekend. Let's start with Danger Things. Oh, uh, Kaiju Big Battle. Uh, Kaiju Big Battle is incredible. I saw one when I went down to, uh, to uh, Dallas for WrestleMania weekend. It's, it's like uh, guys in uh, Godzilla costumes, basically. But you can see all those people who are on there are the, the uh, characters that they play, and they wrestle. Oh my they God. wrestle in, in, these, in these ridiculous, so it looks like a kind of monster battle, but also they do, act, like they wrestle. It's, it's not, <laughs> like there they're, are they're people. In the costumes. In the costumes, and there are people who uh, they wrestle against sometimes, um, and they, it's very impressive. Like yeah. They're like jumping off the ropes in these giant, clunky <laughs> monster costumes uh, and that'll be, has to be that'll be at yeah. the bell house yeah. uh, and it's it's probably it's gonna be great Definitely. Um, when I right. when I saw it in in Dallas it was just incredible how do you uh, say that again Kaiju, Kaiju Big Battle Kaiju Big Battle definitely yeah. don't drink any absinthe in season. Kaiju <laughs> are, are the Godzilla <laughs> and Mothra and all those guys so, um, and they have their own like story like there's a storyline that runs through the whole thing oh wow um, okay. you see, so, it's gonna be amazing too. At, at the Bell House. You. At yeah. the Bell House, too. You gotta love the Bell House. You gotta. I love that. That's gonna be great. $15. Don't think I can make it. Next. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, um, Rhythmic Fall is like this kind of. Uh, is that Hangry Garden? Have you guys been to Hangry Garden? No. 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 I love the word hangry, which is like the hunger angry. Hangry Garden, right. write that down. Um, yeah, yeah. Well, they're having this free block party. Literally, this is like the last weekend to really probably get a block party in. Yeah, yeah really. Because after that, you're just going to be like some fool, or maybe if you're from Iceland, you're just going to be outside anyway. <laughs> um, I, I met some people from Iceland yesterday, actually. They came well, to hear me DJ. Shorts. No, no there was, I was DJing. And I was like, hey, boo. One like, of my oh. favorite part of the block parties is, especially in Park Slope where I live, they got like the dad band out there that yes. are playing mm -hmm. 90s hits. Yes. Gotta love that. Yes. Anyway, go yes. on. Yes. Bring back and, the um, 90s. What? Yeah, so this is like, <laughs> you know, all the things that you find, like, you know, good food, uh, booze, there's some vendors out there, um, and it's like really uh, a bunch of good DJs as well. So if you're gonna do something, and this is, what day is that again? Sunday, Sunday. Fun Day. Sunday. Yeah, Sunday. Sunday Fun Day, yeah. And that's a free block party. Um, it's at Hanging Garden, so Hanging Garden is like a long, it's like not outside on the street block. 
I but it's, it's on Drake's, yeah. I've never been in there, but It's I've really seen... long. Yeah. yeah. Okay, on yeah. Drake's. Hangry Garden, like, instead of Hanging Garden. Yeah, it's something like that. But that's <laughs> that's free. You and can't be the last, now we're talking. It's probably the last block party outside situation. Boom. And a lot of maybe. people have money maybe. out from Maybe. But well, you know how Mother Nature is. That's what I'm it's talking supposed to be really nice next weekend. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah we're going around the table, so we're, we're, back, we're back to Tori now. Now, Tori, what, what is this right here? All right, so the next thing I'm going to have you guys taste oh, before you God. do the cocktail, it's this is the black currant meat. I'm trying to get us buzzed. So, yeah. So, this buzzed. is. Uh, buzz. This one drinks more like a red wine. Yeah. So, the idea is, you know, black currants don't have enough sugar to ferment. Uh, naturally into a wine level of alcohol. Mm -hmm. So when you add the honey, it gives the yeast more to work with. Mm. And all of a sudden, you've got wine that's made from black currants. All the black currants are from upstate. Um, you know, you're like a sommelier. Uh, uh, I hope not. <laughs> <laughs> that's I, I'm just, a, I'm just a bartender. <laughs> yeah. Let's go. Okay. I'm just here to get you drunk, guys. Mm. Well, that's interesting. Yeah, yeah, so that one's like tart. Is a sommelier. There you go. Very yeah. interesting. Yeah, tart, mm -hmm. sweet, it is. Mm -hmm. oaky. No, mm -hmm. I, just, I think oaky is something you're supposed to Hopefully say. Hopefully not yeah, too that's sweet. Okay. <laughs> That's but good. It's, it's, you're just it's saying subtle. Anything. Honey ish. Uh, yeah, yeah no, there should uh, be a little bit of honey in there, but you're also getting the berries. Oh, man. I think more the current. No, yeah. it's, it's totally the current. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's totally the current. It's a distinct flavor. Okay, mm -hmm. yeah. second Sunday. Yeah, uh, head on down to Pioneer Works in Red Hook uh, and go enjoy some art. Uh, free, but like a $10 suggested donation. You know, you should help them out. They're providing all this art and these DJs and all this other stuff, talks and. God knows what else. Uh, and, you know, there's never really a bad time to be in Red Hook. Great place, great neighborhood. Well, high uh, time, maybe. well maybe the 70s. <laughs> I mean, maybe not the maybe 1970s, 70s. 70s in Red Hook. I, 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 bet, I bet it was still, you know, people Don't still managed. Not right, right, people right. still managed to have fun I know. Uh, right. back then. Um, Beautiful. You know, you, you, gotta, you gotta get down to Pioneer Works before they build that giant. Red Hook 2 thing that they're like exactly. plopping down oh, yeah, in the middle of it yeah. and all the fun stuff they're closing Red because Red they, can't, is fun now. Yes. they can't it's synonymous get synonymous with fun. Uh, yes. You know, they can't yeah. pay the in rent far. anymore. Far. Uh, so definitely hit up Pioneer Works uh, like on, on Sunday afternoon. Good stuff. Have a great time. Yeah. All right. And moving on. Uh, we're going to come oh. up with our. Tori, look at this. Thing. So this is our uh, cocktail. <laughs> this, is, this is called the Esperanza Flip. Uh, it is a tequila-based cocktail. This one doesn't have any meat in it, so that's kind of, the whole thing is that in addition to being the tasting room for Enlightenment Wines, mm -hmm. um, where we do tours and tastings for the mead, we also have uh, just a full cocktail bar. And it's a mm -hmm. bunch of people who have been working in the industry for a while just trying to make interesting stuff that's not super pretentious. Um, well, that's kind of tough in the cocktail world nowadays. Yeah, but <laughs> hopefully it's still delicious. You know? Oh, yeah, right. sure. It Where looks are you guys delicious. located? Because it seems like you have something really special going on over there. Yeah, so we are in, uh, I guess it's arguable as to whether we are in Bushwick or East Williamsburg. <laughs> um, Tell me about it. I really don't care. <laughs> um, it's, right. uh, it's a great little spot on the uh, other side of Flushing from the DeKalb L yeah. spot. Um, yeah. Nice. So, we're all going down to Honey's Bar this weekend. Now, we only have a couple minutes left. Okay, so October day of service, right? So on Sunday, um, literally, you know, we should do a day of service regardless. What? Because giving back and helping other people Absolutely. and thinking outside of yourself um, probably isn't the Donald Trump way, but I think that literally it's a way that we, we can all, you know, sort of... Uh, you know, wrote together to to make the world a little better. Heck yeah! Sure, what right. goes on here? And especially with Brooklyn, so like it's a it, October Day of Service. Um, if you go to the website, um, uh, Repair the World, um, you, you find a, a slate of things that you can volunteer to do to help people. Mm -hmm. um, from you know, uh, uh, bed stuy hunger. Uh, oh, wow. uh, so it's a rolling roster. It's, it's a rolling roster of things back. where you can give back, where you can volunteer some time and some effort and some energy okay. and, and give back to humans. We got like five more left in a minute, they say. <laughs> Dave, let's do it. Uh, well, which, uh, there's going to be, oh, hey, everybody loves Steely Dan now. They're having kind of a, uh, or maybe not a revival, because they've always been here. No, there's going to be a series of bands that show up at Shea Stadium, uh, official. Uh, Mets fan venue uh, of Brooklyn, <laughs> and they're going to be doing all these bands are combining to do Steely Dan tributes. Reeling in uh, the ears. Which should be super fun. Definitely. Uh, why not? Steely Dan's nice. usually pretty fun. How about one more toast of the weekend? Tori, what's this specialty cocktail called again? So that's called the Esperanza Flip. It's tequila, carnamaro, a little bit of anise liqueur, God. some uh, lime, a little bit of sumac on top. 
Oh, oh, nice. That's great. Yeah. Cheers. Yeah. Cheers. Yeah. Cheers. Dory and Honey's good. Bar. Now we have a few more picks and only about a minute left, so let's speed through them if we can. I mean, hump day. Okay, Pure Magic. Pure Magic. Pure Magic. Um, that's going to be a good party. It's um, some really good DJs. Reborn, Goodwill, this Free Speech, and Job Medicine. And that's going to be on 1103 <laughs> Fulton Street. That's Sunday. It's a really fun party with um, art and food, and it's going to be... Uh, uh, big outdoor space. Like, I don't know if you've been in that place. The, the, the outdoor space, the backyard is really um, sort of well put together. It's nice. well appointed. Um, so that's going to be a fun party on Sunday. And of course, it is Columbus Day weekend. Yep. So in that essence, like perhaps you should go and discover something discovered already. So um, switch. Right. Perfect. <laughs> this drink uh, is remarkable. Switch. switch. Flip. Um, oh, perfect. Dave Hill's uh, Super Horny Comedy Hour. There you uh, go. That Dave is Hill going from Stand Up Brooklyn. I'm at Brick Union TV. Hall on Friday. Uh, Joe Perra is going to be there. Julio Torres is going to be there. Uh, go. SNL's own. And, um, and, uh, Dave, and Dave Anna Fabrejo, who's also extremely funny. House uh, we all love Dave Great Hill. time. Switch! He's on Stand Up Brooklyn on Brick TV. You can check that out on YouTube. Dave okay, Hill's Torture Soul. Right. Over at Brooklyn Bazaar. Torture Soul is wild dope. They're like literally a house music band. And they soul. kill it, soul, like, they, they, like, soul. The, like a soul house music band that like like normally you hear on a record, but they're doing it live in a jam and out. And at Brooklyn Bazaar, you know Brooklyn Bazaar has reopened. Absolutely. You can do the glow in the dark uh, mini golf. You can do the ping pong. You can do the karaoke rooms, private karaoke rooms. Um, and that's a good show. And they're that's also the a future type. Gonna that's where I'm going to be. be. Yes, yes. Any more? Yes. Switch. Okay. Video okay. revival. Oh, Driller Killer. What a weird, great. Old New York City movie, Abel Ferrara, back in the 70s, uh, and it's this guy who's just being kind of driven slowly crazy by his uh, artistic failures and the punk uh, punk band that lives next door and is always practicing. Is that Red Hook? Uh, <laughs> no, in, <laughs> this is like in the Lower East Side. It's got some oh. great old footage of Ooh, uh, Union like Square, right. and also it has a bunch of footage of a guy killing people with a drill. So that's well, a listen, video revival okay. in Crown Heights. It's going to be so Do much fun. That's that. That's it. That's it. That's that. That's that. Listen, guys, right. we've said it all. Dick, Dave, you're the best. Thank you for Absolutely giving us great things up. to do this weekend. Let's talk, man. Mets. Go Mets. Tori, this drink is exceptional. Thank you very much. We're all going to go down to Honey Bar. Sunday tours, right? Sunday tours. Yeah, every Sunday we do these really cool tours with a tasting, and then there's lectures. There we go. Last week we had a Star Trek one. Next week we got an Ethnobot. Honey's Bar. We're all going to be down there.